Are you worried about your stucco? Or have you recently received a stucco inspection report and you're not really sure what's going on? Let's help you break it down. Hi, my name's Chris. I'm with JDT Construction, and I'm here to talk to you about stucco inspection reports, why you might need one, and what to do if you get a questionable one. So today we're gonna to talk about finding issues with your stucco. The first thing you wanna look for is make sure you don't have any water leaks in the house. No water around the windows or water around the doors. The second thing you wanna take a look for is any moisture buildup on the outside of the house. You're looking for black marks, staining, water streaks on the outside of the home in the stucco. You also wanna take a look at the windows and make sure that the caulk around the windows is in good shape, that you're not having any issues with the cracking or the caulk deteriorating over the years. And then we're gonna teach you how to find kick out flashings and we're gonna make sure that they're installed properly. When you're looking for water leaks in your home around your windows, the first thing you wanna look for is actual water. After a big rainstorm, you wanna take a look and see if there's water on the windowsills. Another thing to look for, water leaves a residue. After it dries, you might see some brown staining around the windows. The black streaks on your home are gonna look like this. When you're looking to make sure your windows have caulk, you wanna look at the outside of the window where the window meets the stucco. That area should be filled with a sealant. Kick out flashing on the house is to divert the water from the roof into the gutters. This is what they look like, and if you don't have a kick out flashing, the water's gonna run right off the roof and it's gonna damage the stucco below. The stucco inspection report is gonna let you know what's going on with the house, what the issues might be, and what's gonna happen if you ignore those issues. Other notable items on your stucco report could include a moisture reading. Your moisture reading is gonna tell you how much moisture is built up inside of your stucco. Those moisture readings are rated by each person and could vary with either a number or a letter. They're gonna tell you if it's soft or hard by the amount of water that's in there. Another thing you'll find on your stucco inspection report is gonna be a core sample. That core sample is gonna let you know what's going on behind the wall. It's gonna show you the substrate of the wall, what it was built out of, what's wrapping that wall, and the stucco itself and how thick it is. It's also gonna let you know whether or not there's moisture built up in either the stucco or in the plywood. Another thing you might find on your report is missing caulking. Missing caulking around the windows is gonna allow water to get into the home and deteriorate your stucco and deteriorate the substrate behind the stucco. Your stucco inspection report is gonna point out issues with the home, but it may not tell you that you necessarily need repairs or that you need to have the stucco remediated. What you're gonna to wanna to do is reach out to a local contractor, try to find the best contractor in your area to get out to the home, take a look at it, and let you know what your options are. Having issues with stucco on your home can leave you feeling strapped and stressed. But don't worry, there are good contractors out there like JDT Construction that can come out, take care of these issues for you. We'll be able to remove the stucco, install a new product, and then you don't have to worry about it ever again. Until next time. Did you enjoy this video? Well, we're here to help. So leave a comment below and we'll get back to you.